everyone, and welcome to the LARP House. This episode, we are doing another installment of the LH Show Me series, where you use this hashtag to pitch makeup tutorials to me based on your character concepts. This tutorial was pitched to me by a friend and LARPer of color, and rather than do it on my own face, because, you know, I'm the color of a deep sea fish, it wouldn't really be super useful to her, I got some friends with a very similar skin tone to model for me, and that way it would be as accurate and useful to her as possible. If you want some content from an actual LARPer of color who does makeup on their channel, occasionally check out Raquel Skellington, I'm gonna link to her here. She does makeup and costumes and design on her channel all the time, and it's good, it's good stuff. For this one, I did two looks. One was more subtle and a little bit easier to pull off in an everyday scenario, and the other was a little bit more extra that could show how this character could grow and how the makeup could change over the course of a campaign. So uh, let's get into it. Let's become children of the hunt. The first thing that I'm doing here is obviously foundation. Normally you'd want to use some sort of primer if you're gonna be out on a LARP all day. I usually actually end up putting makeup sealer on my face as a primer, which is especially handy if you're going to be using cream makeups, which I am. I am using Ben Nye cream makeups because they come in a wide variety of colors and they are really easy to blend and mix together if you use just a little bit of 99% alcohol in a spray bottle can really mix them to get the perfect shade, especially for my model Ruth here who has very lovely golden skin tone. In order to give her an even skin tone without making her look washed out or paler than she is, I am really hitting the contour areas with a darker color, keeping the highlights towards the center of the face and using the contour color in the hollow of the cheeks, even under the nose, and in the eye socket area just to really make sure that she doesn't look like a ghost version of herself. That is a mistake that I see people doing very often when they try to do makeup on people of color. You do not need to make them look paler in order to do a good makeup. Abandon this idea. Here I am using colors from the Naked Heat palette to give a really warm contour on the inner corners of the eyes, a little under the nose, and to elongate the eyes and create a sort of cat eye effect. Basically, I'm doing almost a nod to some like high fashion, almost David Bowie in the Labyrinth style contouring here. Which, for any character that has anything to do with Faye, is always going to be my go-to look. Now, how I get that Faye Moonlight Glow highlight is Kat Von D's Alchemy palette. The color is that blue amethyst color in the center. It really makes you glow like the actual moon, especially on people of color, because the darker the color you put this stuff on top of, the more intense the pigment is. And I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. If you are not using it near the eyes or mouth, so on your cheeks, your forehead, your nose, you can use nail powder pigments. As long as you're not using them near any mucous membranes, it should be safe. They do tend to have aluminum in them as an ingredient, so do a swatch test on your wrist or on your neck. And if that goes well, then you should be good to go. I bring this up because you can get them for a lot cheaper than these iridescent makeup palettes if you order them online. What I'm doing next is a little gold wing eyeliner with an angled brush. I'm using Graftobian Gold Powder and Graftobian Mixing Liquid because that is the most intense gold color I have found for makeup. Next, I'm using Kat Von D's Liquid Lipstick in Echo. I really haven't found a better commercially available liquid lipstick that has the staying power unless you go for an alcohol-based liquid lipstick, which is a whole other video. Like I said before, dark colors are prime real estate for these sweet, sweet iridescent glow pigments. Next I am going in with my very favorite Fey glitter, and it has been for years. It is Urban Decay's Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in Opal. Because Faye aesthetic is just magical glam rock and no one can ever tell me differently, ever. I'm gonna let you in on another secret though. Graftobian Glitter Glam Liquid Skin Sparkle in Opal is almost the exact same glitter and it's a lot cheaper. And now if you add a homemade flower crown or some flower clips, you have got your sweet simple Faye look. And now for look number two. I've applied the same basic makeup to this model, so I'm gonna show you how to go 
extra with it. I am fixing some cheap Halloween store antlers to her with some flower clips that you can buy at most accessory stores. The first thing I am doing is going back in with way more of that iridescent pigment on a makeup sponge and just highlighting her whole body until she looks like the actual moon. But because I am going over her body and not just, you know, near her eyes and mouth, I am using the nail pigment for a lot of it. We did the swatch test, it worked out great. Speaking of making people look like the actual moon, this also works for an LH Show Me entry I got from Infinite Toaster on Instagram, requesting a tutorial for making fantasy moon elf people. So here you go. Here I am reapplying Kat Von D's Echo Liquid Lipstick, and that is because I wanted to go way more over the top with the iridescent pigment. And I made it way more intense by mixing it with Graftobian Mixing Liquid. Next, I'm going in with a dark blue and punching out that Fey Bowie contouring in the nose and eyes because Fey are a magical glam rock. Fight me! Next, I'm going back in with that Graftobian mixing powder and mixing liquid in gold and creating some spidery veins across her face. I did this because usually you use veins to convey a creepy or sinister look on a character, and I did want that, but I also wanted to use gold because Fey are magical glam rock. So here we are. Adding a stripe here of gold to hint at the tattoo possibilities with these kind of characters. And for the finishing touches, I'm doing glitter brows and glitter highlights all over the face, using again that heavy metal or the glitter glam liquid skin sparkle. Congratulations, that is a thing you know now, and instead of doing the usual featured LARPer thing because I have already and will continue to direct you to Raquel Skellington, I am going to give a shout out to the LARPers of Color Facebook group. I want to say thank you for the opportunity to listen and learn. The experience has been very valuable to me, and I have been trying to implement the lessons learned in this group. So thank you, again. And that's all I have for you this time, my nerds. If you want to support us or follow us or anything, all the links for that are going to be in the description of this video. We also have t-shirts out now and everything. La, la, la. If you have any questions, comments, or emotional outbursts, please feel free to message us. We're on Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, and Instagram. Please, though, most likely use the email if you have any actual important pressing questions. The email. Please. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. You are loved and cherished. And as always, thank you again for liking us, subscribing to us, and fighting with us. A very subtle, it's not subtle, <laughs> nothing I do is subtle, this is difficult. Whew, I am so extra at all times, look at me, look at me, I'm basically in the secret garden right now. <laughs> I turned my room into an enchanted forest, <sighs> just so I could feel at home. <laughs>